What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE cancelling more gimmick pay-per-views, Triple H has tested positive for COVID-19, Roman Reigns' next opponent, JBL returning to manage Baron Corbin, Rhea Ripley cleared to wrestle, Bray Wyatt plans and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and the non-wrestling channel, Incredible. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our breaking story today looks at Triple H testing positive for COVID-19. Now WWE has experienced a new resurgence with Triple H in charge. And as always, Triple H should be at every WWE Weekly show, but unfortunately not tonight. As PWInsider.com has reported that Triple H has tested positive for COVID-19 and will not be at Monday Night Raw in Oklahoma City. Now, after hearing the news that Triple H had serious heart issues last year, we're wishing him a fast and full recovery. Next up, WWE cancelling gimmick pay-per-views. A topping today's news is a report that WWE plans on shaking up its premium live events in 2023. As reported yesterday, the WWE has apparently cancelled its day one premium live event, leaving a two month gap between Survivor Series and the Royal Rumble. However, that may only be the beginning. Figure 4 Online's Brian Alvarez reported on his Twitter Super Followers account that the WWE is planning more intentional shows on possibly dumping one or more of its gimmick shows, such as Extreme Rules and Hell in a Cell. As we pointed out on our website article on the reasons behind Day 1's reported cancellation, Nick Khan has been working to strengthen the WWE's PLEs, making each one into a must-see event. This includes Khan working to turn more shows into stadium shows and as we saw this year, at least one international show a year. The WWE's success with Clash at the Castle suggests the WWE has many markets to tap into for stadium shows. The WWE is likely thinking of opening up its creative options by dropping gimmick PLEs such as Extreme Rules and Hell in a Cell. As many fans and critics have noted over the past few years, Hell in a Cell has created difficulties for the WWE as the WWE books wrestlers in the cell with no rhyme or reason. Some feel the Hell in a Cell is a match that should be saved for the right occasion rather than making it mandatory for one PLE a year. A match like this should definitely be reserved for WrestleMania. Whilst this story should be taken as a rumour, it suggests the WWE is working hard to plan out its PLEs for 2023 and turn them into the must-see events that fill up stadiums and take the WWE brand to new heights on a global scale. Next up, Roman Reigns' next opponent. Who is Roman Reigns going to defend the Undisputed Championship against following his defence at Crown Jewel against Logan Paul? Although fans know anything can happen in the WWE, the consensus amongst fans and critics is that the Tribal Chief will remain undefeated when he walks into WrestleMania 39. Nonetheless, there are several months to go before the showcase of the Immortals, which suggests Reigns will have at least one or two title defenses before then. Meltzer commented on who Reigns' next opponents might be. Since they've done Lesnar to death, got a stick with Riddle who isn't pushed at top level anyway even though he and Reigns did a great number, have now gone past McIntyre and Orton is still on the shelf with no return date known, they are back to no obvious title contenders for now. They do have Zayn for down the line who is very popular but at the end of the day nobody's gonna think he can beat Reigns either. But fans have been enjoying Sami Zayn's antics as the oddball Henri Oos, with more than a few members of the WWE Universe feeling Zayn's days in the group are numbered. This could lead to Zayn challenging Reigns, but what other opponents are out there? One potential opponent is Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens has made it known he's after Reigns, feeling he was robbed of a win when the two clashed at 2021's Royal Rumble. The WWE would have an instant storyline if the bloodline were to take out Sami Zayn, leading to Owens seeking revenge. Meltzer discussed Bray Wyatt as a strong opponent, pointing out that Wyatt seems like more of a threat to Reigns than Zayn does. While Reigns and Wyatt will likely cross paths at some point, the WWE should be prudent about when this happens. Bray just returned to the WWE and he should be given time to develop rather than being thrown into a program with Reigns. Rushing Wyatt vs Reigns would be a mistake as a properly promoted feud could be a WrestleMania main event, even the event The Rock is unable to wrestle Reigns, or even sometime after Mania. Why it should not be just another superstar fed to Reigns as it will do nothing positive for his character. Next up, Bobby Fish returning to WWE. Is the former Undisputed Era member Bobby Fish returning to NXT? Fish, who exited AEW recently, was reportedly seen backstage at an NXT live event. Fightful Select reported that Fish was spotted along with former NXT superstar Anthony August Grey Green. 
Well, there was no word on whether one or both men were simply visiting their friends at the black and gold brand or whether they're back in the WWE. Next up are Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson's at Big Bucks Bonanza. All our fans have to wait and see if Bobby Fish and or Anthony Green return to the WWE, they got to see the OC's Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson return during Raw's season premiere, helping AJ Styles out against the Judgment Day. And now Fightful Select is reporting that the Good Brothers had a good reason for returning to the WWE, a big money deal. The team had left Impact Wrestling, leading to guesses as to where they'd wrestle next. Next up, JBL returning and managing Baron Corbin, the WWE dropped a teaser last September that JBL was taking Corbin under his wing. In case you missed it, a white limo pulled up backstage at SmackDown after Happy Corbin's loss to Shinsuke Nakamura. A voice that sounded like JBL told Corbin to get in. Corbin hasn't been seen since, and while a fan's first thought might have been Corbin was unwise to get into a car with a stranger, PW Insider is reporting that there was talk at SmackDown Friday night that the WWE Hall of Famer JBL would be at the next several Raws in some capacity. With talk that Corbin is getting an edgier character, the WWE may feel JBL is the right person to portray someone motivating Corbin to reach new heights. After all, JBL is the same wrestler who went from playing a beer drinking brawler in the Acolyte Protection Agency to a self made millionaire who captured the WWE Championship. Next up, Bray Wyatt plans still in flux. What's going on with Bray Wyatt? The former fiend continues to be the talk of the internet wrestling community as fans weigh in on what's next for Wyatt. The current belief is that there will be some sort of faction associated with Bray, but fans are uncertain who will be in the group. Just recently, the concept of the Wyatt Six, the group's unofficial title, took an unexpected turn when a theory emerged that the group could be six different sides of Wyatt's personality. However, the plans for Wyatt may still be in flux, as Dave Meltzer recently commented on Wyatt's storyline saying, I've certainly heard names for a faction, but then I heard other people say those aren't the names, and someone even told me it's not even all worked out exactly how it's going to go down. Now I think it's important to remember the WWE recently hired Rob Fee as a director of long term creative and that Fee was working on the White Rabbit mystery. Given that one would think the WWE already has a storyline planned for White and whatever characters he'll be working with, i.e. the White Six. My fans should be concerned if the WWE is still developing its White storyline, especially since these reek of the former regime's haphazard approach to storytelling where plans were constantly reworked and sometimes even dropped. Other than the WWE promising why it would appear on last week's Raw and failing to deliver, there's no sign the promotion is rushing the storyline or that it hasn't planned things out. The only thing fans can do is to wait and see how things play out and hope that the WWE doesn't stretch things out for too long before giving fans an idea of what Wyatt's new direction is all about. Do you think the WWE has a clear idea for what's going on with Wyatt? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Rhea Ripley cleared. As great news for fans of the nightmare as Rhea Ripley has been cleared to wrestle. Ripley worked a mixed tag match alongside Judgment Day partner Damian Priest, and she let the world know about her return, tweeting photos from a recent live event along with this message. Or Ripley has been out since June, as comicbook.com's Matthew Orguilla noted, Ripley was injured back in June after a collision with the ropes bounced her knee into her face. She would end up having to get dental work done as a result, but she would reveal that the impact also caused a brain injury, and later would be reported that she was also wearing a heart monitor for a bit afterwards. This could open the door for several matchups, including Ripley vs Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair and a grudge match with Beth Phoenix. Ripley under Shada Belair, but was forced out of the match after her injury. The Judgment Day would benefit from one of its members having a title, especially since titles are so hard to come by in the current era of unified tag and world championships. Likewise, fans know a confrontation between Ripley and Beth Phoenix is inevitable after Ripley laid the glamazon out with a concerto at Extreme Rules. And finally, Rhea Ripley's next opponent decided. Now in the meantime, it looks like Ripley could have a different opponent and a match contested in her own stomping grounds at NXT. If you've been following NXT or caught the 14th October edition of SmackDown, you know that Roxanne Perez showed up to select an opponent for her nemesis Cora Jade for the 18th October NXT Pick Your Poison match. There Jade will face Perez's choice Raquel Rodriguez, while Perez will face Jade's choice who will be picked on tonight's Raw. This could be Rhea Ripley. If Ripley joins Rodriguez on NXT, it'll be the latest example of the WWE using main roster stars to add some star power to the black and gold brand and hopefully amp up the show's ratings. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.